Hey guys, we're back with another survey block. Um, we are cutting down what subscription boxes that we are getting. Um, and if you hear any any noise in the background, the three D printer's going and it's quite loud. So let's get started. I can't remember what the theming was. I think it was like Doctor Who stuff and more Pokemon, I think. So, first of all, shirt. So, it's Rocket, was it Rock'em Sock'em Robots, the little game? But it's Terminator. Instead. I'm wearing my Fallout one. All the shirts. Second, we have. Oh, for the Doctor Who stuff. Um, and the Tumblr. I mean, we got one from. We got a Sonic one in the arcade block, I think. I don't quite understand why we're getting more, but like I said in the other one, I'm a sucker for Tumblrs, so. Not gonna complain. Another one? Okay, so in a loot crate we did. We already have a multi pass. I haven't seen whatever thing this is to do with. Um this is part of an exclusive for Nedlock. Um yeah. Yeah, I've we've already got one of these. It comes with Another thing to stick your picture on, name, address, sex, height, weight, eye colour, date of birth, blood type, and driving licence. I don't know my blood type. Um, oh, We do have pops. We don't really collect these. These are the little pocket pops. So they're the pops with a keychain. Um, does that not ruin them? It must do. But we have little... Oh, the glare. Nope. There we go. Dancing Groot. It's kind of cute. I have only just recently watched Guys of the Galaxy. But he is adorable. Um, a... I want to say lunchbox, but it's not. It's a Doctor Who Top Trumps Collector's Tin. Does it have any in? Go ahead and do this. Last um, So we have Top Trumps, Heroes and Enemies. So, oh. I've moved camera so my camera was here. But now it's here. So, the ending was really creepy. And then we have Top Trumps Stories. There we go. I must admit the Oud are one of my favourites. I like the Oud. And then another one of these. Fifth Element um, reaction figure. And I think I mentioned before how um, I think the reaction figures are for the films that didn't get action figures to begin with. I think. Maybe. But yeah, we have Corbin Dallas. I haven't seen the movie. But there's Lilu. I'll show you. Lilu, Corbin Dallas, Lilu with straps costume. Diva. However you want to pronounce that. Zorg, Ruby Rod, and Mangalore. But they are a Funko product though. I didn't know that. I did not know that. But yeah, hmm. Oh, that's that on the floor. And then this is quite cool. Now, 
Okay. It is Boba Fett. I was just making sure I got that right. Um, I don't know if you can see behind me. Whoop. Yes, the boyfriend is a huge Star Wars fan and an even bigger Boba Fett fan. So that'll probably find a fragment up on the wall. Um, his colouring looks a bit off, I think. Um, but yeah. He's a cool character, but he has like 20 minutes in that whole, like, seven movies. And so what the big, like, how he's such a big character, but everyone seems to love him. And he's pretty cool. So yeah. Um, oh, sorry about that. So yeah, um, March 2016, the, it was Doctor Who theme, and he could have got a Weeping Angels um, mug. That would have been better, I think. But yes, um, Rock'em Sock'em Terminators, the multi-pass DIY, oh, DIY edition. Fifth element thing, Fungo Pop keychain, so it was Guys Against Galaxy's Got Groot, Dancing Groot or Rocket Raccoon, and then the Boa Fett print, and then in April we're going to get some Star Wars, and also Doctor Who, Firefly and an exclusive collectible for the fans of E.T. So yeah, I might actually understand what some of those things are. I have watched one episode of Firefly, quite a few Doctor Who, and I love the film E.T. So yes, I think it was a good box overall. I mean, I think the arcade box from last month, that might have been earlier this month, was the best. It had the um, the Sonic Tumblr, but it had Legend of Zelda, Tea Towel, and the Salt and Pepper Shakers, the Mushroom from Mario. But yes, that has, that's a pretty good box, I guess. But yes. Thank you very much, and see you next time. Bye!